what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, but if you're new here, we're Peter and Yen, travel vloggers from New Zealand and we're currently in Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, this is a place that we've actually visited quite a few times in the past, but this is going to be the start of our big Asia trip. Yeah, so if you've been following along with our Instagram or Facebook, you might have seen that we've been spending time with my sister and brother-in-law. We've been walking around lots, visited Fort Canning and also eating a lot, yep. which has been fantastic. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering why we're swaying, it's because the platform that we're on actually moves. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for today actually, because we're going to Asia's largest bird park. It's called Mandai Bird Paradise. And actually a couple of years back, we went to the Jurong Bird Park and it's all moved over there, eh, bud? Yeah, so this one only opened in May last year, making it a relatively new attraction. So very excited to go there. We need to catch the MRT, it's about an hour or yeah. so away. So yeah, come along, join us, and let's go check it out. It's gonna be a good day. Before we go though, I just want to show you how cool this building is. It is covered in all these plants and they've got little purple flowers on it. You also see all these vines hanging off from here. It's so cool. That ride was about 40 minutes and we caught the MRT from the city center and we're currently at the Khatib MRT station. The ride was around about two Singaporean dollars and we're looking for the bus shuttle now which will take us directly to the bird park and that's going to be a further two Singaporean dollars away. So it's just over there, let's yeah. head on over. Khatib's on the red line. Yeah, that's right. So we've just arrived at Mandai Wildlife West and before we head on in, I've just got some useful information to share with you guys. It was about 15 minutes from the MRT station over to here via the shuttle and one important thing is they don't accept cash so you need the EasyLink card. They also recommend on the website for you to purchase your tickets in advance before you get to the park. So we've actually done that and it cost us 48 Singaporean dollars. And we've also read that if you're a Singaporean resident, you actually get a 20% discount on the entry price, which yeah. is always good to save a bit of money. <laughs> Once you get here though, do check out the surroundings because we just saw a man-made waterfall, which was very cool. Yeah, and that's lovely. Yeah, we're also here on a weekday, so we're hoping it won't be quite as busy as the weekend. Yeah, so far it seems pretty good. So let's get on inside and see how it is. You know you're in a massive park when you've got these things for transport while you're inside the park. What's your first impressions of the place, bud? It is super cool. It is definitely even bigger than Jurong was. And we're going to make our way over towards the Sky Amphitheater because there is a show that we want to catch, which will be in about an hour's time. And then along the way there, we're going to visit, um, what's it called, the African uh, wildlife section. So yeah, we're going to go look at the Wings of the World show that's at 12.30 for the first session and then later on in the day we will try and catch the predators on wings. Oh man, that's so exciting! It is very exciting and something that you notice immediately when you get here is that all the platforms are kind of raised up so we're basically at the tree levels which is very very cool. Okay, let's go. our first birds it's the northern bald ibis and there were some cute little lovebirds there as well but they've flown off somewhere <laughs> and I can say that they've flown off somewhere because the really amazing thing about this aviary <coughs> is you're up in a month with all the birds they're not in sitting inside cages and so they're kind of free to roam in this very large enclosed area yeah their habitats mimic like the natural surroundings which is lovely <laughs> Yen and I have made some friends. This is so loud. And my goodness, you can get a sense more of the size of this place when you just stare out at how far it goes. And we got some flamingos down here. Look at all of them. that 
we can just keep going up and up higher into the trees and then ironically get a bird's eye view of the birds below. <laughs> Wings of the world had some beautiful toucans and hornbills. Watching them soar from perch to perch and eating grapes was so wonderful. But I think the one who stole the show was this clever little parrot. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. that Wings of the World presentation. They teach you all about the different birds. It's so cool seeing them zoom around everywhere and they also tell you about the conservation work that they do here at the Bird Paradise. So also very conveniently is this food court which is located pretty much right next to it. We've already gone ahead and ordered our food. So you order everything at the counter and then you get given a little uh, buzzer and when your food's ready you just go pick it up. And I went with chicken meatball noodle soup and Peter's got in the roast chicken and an ice holics too. It is pretty hot today, so I'm glad we've got it. Let's have a sip. Mm. Totally hits the spot. And nice and ice cold. Let's dig into the food. Mm. Looks pretty good. Yeah, actually tastes better than I expected to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Salty. The meatballs have got a bit too. Noodles are actually pretty silky as well. And yeah, I like the soup. Let's see how your one is. Okay. Now that is refreshing. It's a very smoothie and it's uh, very fresh. Nice. Quite enjoy that. So I've got the classic chicken rice since we're in Singapore. Give you guys a little look at that. Looks very tasty. How's it? Oh, that's really good. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, I'm very pleasantly surprised because you know when you go to like attractions, the food isn't always the best. But Singapore being Singapore, you know, even the Bird Park Hawker yeah. Centre has delicious food. Oh, Love yeah. the flavour of the chicken rice. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to recharge because it's pretty hot and we've um, spent quite a few hours here already. So yes. we're and looking we've forward got to maybe an hour before the next show. Okay. So the one that we were just watching was half an hour long. All right, let's refill. Let's eat. After a satisfying lunch, it was time to head back to the amphitheater for Predators on Wings, which was a rare chance to see some incredible raptors of the skies. The birds' grace and skills were on full display as they plucked rubber sea serpents from the water. It was also the first time Yen and I had seen vultures. We especially liked how they walked around. Another highlight was seeing an American bald eagle for the first time. Now Susie here has been with us for almost 26 years. Yeah, she's about 31 years old this year. Her strong beak and powerful talents 
make her an unmatched actress. And by the way, she is semi-retired, so we occasionally bring her out for some enrichment, alright? Alright, Susie, I'll take a short flight right over there. There you go, good girl, very nice. This show just finished and it was about 20 minutes long. We got to see a whole bunch of vultures and learn interesting facts about them and how they've been quite misrepresented in things like movies and all that. So it's really worth coming to check out the presentations, I reckon, and if you can, catch both. They're also like a well-spaced time apart to view them. Yeah, they were absolutely awesome. Yeah. A lot of flamingos, huh bud? So many flamingos, they're so pink too. <laughs> now, if you're watching us from Australia, then you'll know the white ibis, otherwise known as the bin chicken. Well, there are some red ibis over here. Look at how majestic they are. They've got a beautiful red color. Man, that is stunning. making our way through all the different aviaries now and it's been wonderful especially if you love birds like Yen and I you could say it's almost like a bird hit bird paradise <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> but yeah this is the songs of the forest aviary and we even managed to see a bunch of different interesting birds in here like this blue beauty right behind me and we even saw one of the what was it called a the little mouse deer, mouse deer. <laughs> yeah so very cute and of course you're hearing all the songs from all the birds in here which is just lovely just lovely There are a number of different feeding sessions throughout the day as well. There's one just over there behind us and it's an $8 additional cost but 100% of that goes into their conservation project. So it's great to support but sometimes might get some lines. Now we have found an actual dinosaur. <laughs> Look at this fella. Gigantic. Alright, it's time to pour the shrimp on the barbie. That is a horrendous Australian accent. We're sorry, all our Aussie viewers. What do you mean? <laughs> Stop. Yin's looking at a very special Australian bird right over there. Yes, can you see it? It's the tawny frog mouth. And they get their name from having a very wide gaping beak that hangs open and they can stay very still apparently so much so that insects will just climb into their mouth kind of like <laughs> Free a food. trap. Yeah sometimes they get confused as owls they are nocturnal and maybe that's why this one is quite sleepy you can see like his eyes <laughs> just <laughs> drooping it's very cute you can notice like it's mottled colored feathers as well. That's special. Great being able to see a kookaburra this close. Man such a majestic bird. Hey you got some wallabies here. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. We actually did a loop around the entire place and we came back over here to the heart of Africa yeah. because we wanted to leave about an hour or so for us to find the mysterious and elusive shoe bill store which yeah. is probably our favorite bird and the one we really wanted to see it's super rare in the wild it's near extinction but unfortunately we could not find the fella but at least we found the sign <laughs> that says that it's here this in the time, vicinity this is habitat so if you guys ever come here it's definitely fun to try spot him but it is very very rare to look out for it yeah we even met a couple of the rangers walking past and they were like yeah we saw it two days ago and we come here quite often to try and find it because it's a rare find 
Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed following along with us for the day. It's been very hot, but the good thing is there are little pockets of aircon rooms in between the different aviaries. Yeah. And you can definitely spend an entire day here, especially if you love birds, walking around and looking at all the different enclosures. Yeah, I think for me, it's like one of my favorite animal parks that I've ever been to. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, and the fact that it's moved back here to Mandai, sorry, not back here, over here to Mandai, means that it's closer to the other um, wildlife parks as well, like the Singapore Zoo, the Night Wonders, and yeah. the Night Safari as well. So you can definitely cram a lot into the visit. Yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Drop us a comment, love reading them from you guys, and we will catch you next time. See you everybody. Bye. Bye. Ha 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 ha!